through their town and not tell me that they got to look over their shoulder because they saw a white police car. Hmm. And I ain't talking about the car being white, I'm talking the white police in the in car. It, yeah. I said, and another thing I'm fighting for is that we as a nation have a place of governing that is represented and recognized by the United States government. They say, well, that's federal recognition. I say, no, that's not. That is a God-given right, mm -hmm. okay, a God-given right. Because even the people that's in churches of whatever race, they keep singing about them 12 tribes of Israel, or they keep singing about Abraham, Isaac, and Amen. Jacob. Mm -hmm. Well, everybody didn't come from Jacob. And if they did, that mean everybody ought to be black. Because Jacob was marrying within his tribe. People that looked like him. He married his uncle's children. Okay? So, when we sit in here, we won't even tell the truth about what Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob look like. So, then I have to go to mine, like I told this caller that come from you. How far back you think they've been stealing our color and race? Hmm. Thank you. And, and, and do you think they're going to get the real people back their race. No. That's something we have to stand up. We have been allowing, like I was telling you before the show started, we have allowed people to make us accept things. Hmm. When the Europeans have come here, whatever they don't like, they write a law. And they stick together and they push That's it right. through. That's right. It's time we, you know, don't get mad at me because um, I had a gentleman call me one time. He says, well, how can you be a chief? One of Roger Collins. How can you be a chief and be a woman? I said, how did you get here without a woman? <laughs> Took a woman to bring you in this world. Now you show me another way a woman didn't lead a man in here when she led you into life. That's right. Okay? Mm -hmm. So next thing, I challenge my men of color to give us the respect that God gave us mm -hmm. right to. He made us the one to bring about you. That doesn't make us disrespect you. That doesn't make us behind you. God put us in front. Mm -hmm. He put us here to That's bring right. you forth. Now, as a woman, do I respect my men? Yes, they're the strength of our country. But the United States found a way to break them down, too. That's right. I hear people to my deadbeat dad. Well, let me name y'all some deadbeat dads. As historians, we need to talk about. Who's okay. paying for Andrew Jackson deadbeat grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and great-great-great-grandchildren, and great-great-grandchildren? An entire family. Who are paying for these illegitimate That's right. children That's right. that white men's made here? That's right. When an Indian had more than one wife, and even the Bible, Jacob had more than one wife, and he took care of them all. Mm -hmm. He took care of his children. He was not looking for somebody else to come feed his children. That's right. But you okay? see, you're militant, and you're an activist if you talk about these things. But this is tribal That's the way they truth. look at it? Let's okay. be tribal truthfully. So let, that me, means let, me inter let me interrupt for just a second, if you don't mind, because I want to let our audience get in on this, if we can. I want to ask you to turn your televisions all the way down, talk to us directly through the telephone, listen through the phone. We appreciate you watching. We want to know what your question or comment happens to be. Caller? Yes, Brother West? Yes. Yeah, this is Brother Warren here. Yeah. Hey, it's good to hear uh, from you. That uh, I don't want to be rude or disrespectful, but I, I kind of come from the position you grew up in in the, the Garvey era. Uh, I identify as an African-American, I identify with my African ancestry. Uh, when I hear my relatives who do genealogy talk about a Native American past, I'm not interested because I feel that a lot of these things are still attempts on our part to escape our African heritage. Mm -hmm. Even if it were the case of Native American ancestry, I am black because I am African, not because I'm Native American. And the institutions, the African-American family, the church, the civic social organization we developed saved my life and many other black folk life. And so I, people have the right to, to, to identify whatever they want. But I feel that this discussion among our people tends to get us off track as to our reality that we deal with in the world and that we are oppressed because we are an African people. Everybody wants to respond to you, Warren, but let me do, be the first one. You know, I come from the same venue that you are in today. And believe me, my sentiments were the same. So let me try to quickly give you a response. We celebrate, and we can openly celebrate our Africanness with our brothers 
who have come from Africa but stayed here on this continent and made this continent home for thousands of years. We celebrate the fact that we were able to do this as a people. And we celebrate it because it shows us how great that we really are. I look at Chief here. I myself personally am an African. She's an African too, but she wants to talk about her achievements on this continent. And I'm willing to give her that. So I see it as a celebration of us showing our greatness and how we have influenced and conquered the entire world without destroying the world. Linda? I want to say something. You know I can get long-winded, but well, I'm going to try to make, I'm gonna try, cheap, I know I'm going to try to make this really, really quick. I'm going to uh, address, I want to address the Bible aspect of it, okay? I've been going to church all of my life, all of my life. I cannot wake up on Sunday morning and not go to church. I come from parents who just groomed me that way. But it amazes me at how many people go to church and don't really realize what they're listening to. They don't read the Bible. They don't understand the dynamics of the middle. It, 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 it really, it, it, it scares me to know that we have a general population out here who vote. And if you walk into a mall with a microphone and ask the average person, and I'm not calling people ignorant, I'm just saying we need to know how we're functioning in this society. Ask a person, where is the West Bank? Where is the Gaza Strip? Where's Damascus, the place where Paul was on his way to? Yeah. Who are the people that were, lived on the West Bank? Who are the people that lived in the Gaza Strip? Who are, where is the Nile River? Where is Iraq in relationship to Iran? And these people cannot tell you. They don't even know the natural dynamics of Iraq and Iran. They don't know that in Golda Meir's regime, this is when, you know, the, the, the Iran looked like a, started to look like a box and Iraq looked like a box with a little thing hanging off of it, you know, and it's the same way in the United States. You think, you think you, we, that, that Louisiana just naturally looks like a boot? Yes. You follow me? Yeah. Chief, I want you to respond to it. Brother, I would like to say this to you. I'm not trying to change anyone's belief. A lot of the calls I get from around the country, I address some of the calls like you were just saying. I'm not trying to change your belief or your race, but I am saying for the last several hundred years, you've been on my land here. And what I am saying, be at least a little appreciative that when the, 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 the slaves were running from their slave masters, we opened our doors and villages for you to be here today to tell me you from Africa. So, you know, thank somebody from giving up everything they had because we believed in God, and we feared God, and we opened up our doors and villages. We fed your people. We took care of your people. Same thing I would tell the Europeans when they ask me, what are you worried about? We're the people you based your Thanksgiving off of. We gave you everything and you gave us death. You gave us bloody tra uh, um, trails of tears. Well, okay, African American have even given us a bloody trail of tears. You know what I get from my African brothers and sisters that we opened our doors and gave to them life? You know what they say? Why are you worried about that now? You ought to embrace being of Africa. Well, I've been here for thousands of years. Well, now, brother, for well, me to go to Africa and tell Africa I'm a Native American, I have done, met with a lot of friends in Africa. They accept me as chief of this nation. India accept me as chief of my nation. Uh, other countries do. Why can't my brothers and sisters of Africa here be more graceful and, and help us the way we help you all? Warren? Well, I disagree with her in historic interpretation of Native Americans being saviors of those 12 million souls from Africa who were brought here who saved this land. This Louisiana colony was saved by the Africans from growing rice, and the Native Americans participated with the Europeans in capturing